Hello, friends in the Church of the Brethren. I am Matt Gwynn, Director of Organizing and Interim Co-Executive Director for On Earth Peace. You can follow up with me about anything I mention in this video by emailing oep at onearthpeace.org. I greet you in the name of the Prince of Peace and ask God's blessings on your congregational and district ministries. I'm recording this greeting from my home office in Portland, Oregon. I have been on staff for On Earth Peace for 20 years, and I've come to know many of you. I wish I could greet you each personally and meet new friends directly. Please reach out even just to say hello by sending an email. These are hard times in our country. Our society is polarized in a way that is in some ways unprecedented. The issues about which to be concerned and about which to disagree just don't quit. Guns, the environment, homelessness and poverty, abortion and reproductive rights, policing, LGBTQ justice, war in all its modern manifestations. Many people are scared or reluctant or weary or wary to talk about these things because it's so costly, so difficult and emotionally charged, or because in speaking up, we've been attacked or dismissed. And yet these issues matter a great deal to real people. On Earth Peace hopes to equip more leaders in the church with skills to offer light and hope in areas of division, injustice, and violence. All these same issues are places that followers of Jesus can work in support of dignity and the thriving of life. In 2009, Samuel Sarpia, who would go on to become the moderator of the Church of the Brethren Annual Conference, was planting a church in the city of Rockford, Illinois. That summer, police shot and killed Mark Anthony Barmore, a young African-American man inside a church in Rockford, and the community erupted. Samuel was connected with On Earth Peace, and together we made a plan to bring an approach called Kingian Nonviolence to the community. That training with David Jensen led to the formation of a group of people whose work continues to reap new benefits today, 13 years later. That nonviolence leadership development lifted Samuel and that training group into a new significant role, helping that community heal and imagine new possibilities for integrating nonviolence into the community, including providing an alternative path for youth in the justice system, a family center for women and children fleeing abuse, and more. We'd like to work with more people like Samuel and see more of our churches giving significant community leadership. We're offering skills and training to help churches discover creative solutions to the crises you are facing where you are. For this reason, we have created the Thousand Brethren Kingian Nonviolence Training Project. Kingian Nonviolence Conflict Reconciliation provides skills grounded in a Jesus-centered spirituality that can help the Church of the Brethren to become what we're meant to be. Kingian Nonviolence is built from the experiences and insights of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and the leaders of the Black Freedom Struggle. And the curriculum was co-authored by Church of the Brethren member, David Jensen. We want to train 1,000 brethren in Kingian nonviolence to use as a resource for Christian peacemaking. And it's not just training, but leadership, support, and accompaniment for people to put the teachings into practice by fostering teams that continue to working together on issues of concern. Through this, we hope to help brethren revitalize and channel our faith heritage and to reimagine how brethren can bring Jesus' concern for the marginalized into our neighborhoods. How could this program support those in your district to lift up nonviolent Christianity and address conflict or community concerns? Who is there in the room right now who would like to get involved? Please get in touch. Here are some other program highlights and invitations. We are organizing people to take action on gun violence through monthly meetups, 
relational networking, and other resources. Are you working on gun violence prevention already? We would love to get connected with you. Or are you concerned about what's happening with gun violence in our country and you'd like to figure out your next steps? Please come get involved. This fall, we are offering an online international children's theater group focused on themes of social justice taking place via Zoom. We'd love your kids to join with others from around the United States and around the world. It's taking place on select Saturdays all fall with a showcase performance on December 10th. We'd like to make sure that you know about our paid internship program. This year we've averaged um, 15 paid interns at a time. And here are some of our recent and current interns. Are there youth and young adults aged 18 to 24 or college or graduate students, regardless of age or within one year of graduation, who might like to join this rich, international, multiracial community? Come learn Kingian nonviolence, develop skills um, for leading in peace and justice in our times. I want to say thank you to those congregations and individuals hearing these words who support On Earth Peace financially. We couldn't do it without you. Thanks for giving me these few minutes of your time to offer greetings from On Earth Peace. I'd love to hear what's going on in your district or your congregation. Please contact me at oep at onearthpeace.org for more information or to get in touch. God bless.